I don't know if anybody is a Walking Dead fan like myself, but if you're a fan of the TV show, comic series, or just zombies in general, this question has probably popped in your head at least once or twice. Could zombies ever exist? start, let's define what a zombie is. In western culture, zombies are usually portrayed as flesh-eating and brain-eating people that have been infected by some virus. But seeing as all cultures don't recognize zombies as brain-eating monsters, for the sake of today's video, we're just going to refer to it as an organism that has been infected and forced to do something for the sake of keeping it and its species alive. And now, to the science side of all this. Is any of this stuff actually likely to occur to the human race? Well, the answer may be shocking to you, but such scenarios are already occurring in nature to other species. For instance, the baculovirus infects gypsy moth caterpillars and releases enzymes that stop its natural growth process. Those enzymes then force the caterpillar to climb up to the top of the tree, where it will die and rain down the same virus on every other caterpillar in the area. The Toxoplasma gandhi virus infects the brains of rats and causes their brains to release extra amounts of dopamine and testosterone, making them fearless little warriors. The rats are no longer phased or scared by the scent or presence of cats, and well, you can see where this is going. Cat sees mouse, a little Tom and Jerry action might pursue, and the cat eats the rat, transmitting the virus to the cat. Once the cat reproduces with another cat, the virus spreads to their offspring and everyone gets infected. Another zombie-like incident in nature takes place with the aid of Orpheocordyceps unilateralis. This fungus infects the brain of ants, carpenter ants to be specific, and causes them to travel to leaves above the ground, die, and then wait for it, sprout out a spore stalk out of its head, which is utterly terrifying. Now, I don't know about you, but some of these things are getting a little creepy, so I'm going to wrap it up with one more real-life zombie scenario. Spinocordotus teleni is a hairworm that likes to live inside of crickets and grasshoppers. It releases toxins that make the bug go suicidal, and the grasshoppers drown themselves to death. After the grasshopper is dead, the worm wiggles its way out of the bug so that it can reproduce in its new environment. So there you have it. Small zombie apocalypses are happening every day, and you didn't even know it. But to the bigger question, could a zombie apocalypse ever happen to us humans? The answer, even though it's pretty unlikely, is yes, for parasites could easily infect us. But the answer to the question when is an answer that is only going to be revealed with time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the links below. Now, you guys, once again, kind of like last week, I did a different styled episode. Last week, I did one that didn't really answer a question, and now this week, I did more of a silly question. I mean, it's not really silly, because it's a question nonetheless, and no questions are silly, but it's not as practical as maybe a question like, why do we get freckles and birthmarks? Why do we cry? Why do we get addicted to things? Someone suggested that I do a video in this fashion, so I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd like to hear that in the comments below. If you didn't, I'd like to hear that as well, because all kinds of feedback are greatly accepted and appreciated. And once again, if you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.